It's Monday, September 8th, 2008. I'm James Kotecki. Welcome to the show. It's good to be home. And speaking of homes, we begin today with the U.S. government intervention to save mortgage giants Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. For years, investors held onto the two quasi-private enterprises under the assumption that if things ever got bad, the government would take over and bail them out. Well, turns out they were half right. The government is taking over, but shareholders are expected to take a huge hit. Oops. But let's not dwell on the facts that my 401k is now completely worthless. Instead, let's breathe a sigh of relief that our government is handling the problem. Our government. The same people who brought you this, 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 and of course, who could forget this? Now, on to our top campaign story. A prominent politician has agreed to do a television interview. You know what? That actually doesn't really seem like news to me. Um, oh, uh, hold on. Sorry. Uh, late breaking. I'm being told that that politician is Vice Presidential Candidate Sarah Palin. <laughs> A political candidate for office who actually does regular campaign stuff. She'll appear with ABC's Charles Gibson later on this week. Palin's interview shyness had contributed to the impression that she was perhaps unprepared for the vice presidency. But to be fair, the McCain campaign has argued that regular voters don't care about these types of media sit-downs. And they're right. Americans aren't looking for a leader who can think on her feet or answer hard questions. No. Americans want a leader who will take her case directly to the American people. Or at least those crowds of the American people who overwhelmingly already support her. Barracuda. Finally, Barack Obama revealed yesterday to ABC's George Stepanopoulos that he once considered joining the military, calling it an honorable option. However, Obama said that since he graduated in 1979... There were no active military conflicts at that point, so he never pursued the option. In other news, I considered writing a funny joke for this segment, so please go ahead and assume that I could have. Well, that's it for today's hit. Check out politico.com slash Kotecki for more video magic. And don't worry, we're going to burn, 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 burn it to the wick. That song is really hard to sing right here on Kotecki TV.